Hey y'all, this is how to do uh, command line arguments in C sharp. I figured since I'd already taken the easy route or the hard route and done with C plus plus or the equivalent thereof, we would cover the same thing in C sharp. Much easier this way. Will be a pretty quick tutorial. Um, so let's get started. Basically, what we need to do this is going to be a command line argument or a command line application. So we're going to do a console app and we're going to call this one uh, test args. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything like that yet. And it is pointing in the wrong place. So give me just a second. I'm not the fastest typer all of the time. Alright. So you see here we've already got our string args, which is why I had called the C application. How to might as well do it this way. String args and C plus plus. Named it that because that's what I wanted to recreate. Uh, basically with this one with C sharp, as soon as you call it from the command line, it's automatically going to be piped into that string args array. So there's really not a whole lot we have to do for it. Um, easiest way to get through it. And we're actually going to do it with a 4. And yep. I'm sorry guys. Not a very... Great multitaskers sometimes. Okay, and I is less than. Alright, so this is our basic setup. We declare integer i um, at zero, and as long as i is less than the length of our args, then we're going to increment it at the end of the loop. And then all we're going to do here is we're going to just write each one out to the console. So like I said, this is going to be a very, very simple and easy thing to recreate. It's just an interruption on kind of how it works in case you were trying to figure out how to pass arguments into a command application. And we're going to do args. I just like that. And for the sake of not getting weirdness or in case It might be necessary at some point later. We'll go ahead and use this because I think it's the best thing that you can do. All right, go ahead and compile so we get an app or an execution or an application executable. Executable can't talk, can't multitask. Bad day. Okay, and we're going to do into you. Okay, into bin. Nope. Debug. All right, what's in here? Okay, oops, get into my folder. Alright. Okay, so now let's go ahead and call that application and let's use our old help me thing. But we're going to use some text too. And then, in fact, let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, too many 7s. Okay, and now you see, there you go. Each one has written out just like that. And of course, we could do all sorts of things with that if we wanted to. Um, for example, if I wanted to just see if there was uh, a help call. And it contains. Alright. Okay, and now all we've got in here is if we called in a help call with the rest of it, we could write a method to call a help class or 
dump out help information. A lot of things you could do with it, and it won't execute the rest. So, when we go back here, call the same thing, we should get call for help. Uh, although, it wouldn't always do that. So, if we did it without the help, so, uh, go, and then we're going to say do something. Okay, there we go. See, we've looped through it. So, very simple. And now you've got how to call command arguments from a C-sharp console application. Thanks.